All right, guys, today we learn uh, a new shape uh, called the ellipse. And the way I think of an ellipse is that it is an oval. Well, not exactly an oval, but like an oval, almost like a circle that's been stepped on. Okay, so what you're going to have is you're going to have some sort of oval type shape. Now, you're going to still have a center, just like you have with the circle. Okay, and then you're going to have a what's called a major axis the longer axis so this one would be the major and then you're gonna have a minor axis which will be shorter okay so a major axis and a minor axis okay those are the initial things that we need to know about this now how do you find it how do you make it that's what we got to work on and then what actually a ellipse is, is it's a set of points that if you find these two points, they're called focal points, plural is foci. Okay, if you find those two points, the idea is, is that if you take any point that's on the ellipse, this is kind of a lot of information right now, I apologize, but if you take any point on the ellipse and you measure the distance from here to here and from there to there and you add it together, that it will be the same no matter what point you pick. So if you pick this point here and you take that distance to there, it'll be the same as here to here and here to here added together. So let's say this first distance that I drew in, maybe this is two and this is five, that would be a total of seven, right? Two and five. Well, maybe this is four and this is three, that's still seven. So again, that's actually what an ellipse is. And when I do the video for next week on uh, Tuesday, I'll actually show you how that's done um, so you can kind of see how an actual ellipse is made. All right, you got to have a string and stuff, and uh, where I'm at and where I'm working right now, I don't have the string to do that. But again, next week on Tuesday, I'll show you. All right, so you'll notice that these are your two equations that you need to know. But really, honestly, this A squared and B squared thing, switching places, is going to take care of itself. All right, so but that is going to be important that they are different numbers that there's a divided by here you'll see as we go and then one of the big keys is the equations will always equal one okay now when you draw an ellipse these points here and here are going to be your vertices okay they're going to talk about the vertices these points here and here are going to be your vertices so we're going to have to find those all right and then to find these two points called the foci, we'll be using this formula, okay? Lots of information coming, lots of work, so let's see kind of what we can do here right off the bat. Okay, so letter A, example one, here we go. So this says graph and find the coordinates of the foci. First thing you want to determine is what shape do you have. Okay, one of the keys is that you have plus in the middle. If you have plus in the middle, that makes it an ellipse. We're going to do another shape that has a minus in the middle. We'll take care of that at another time. So you got a plus in the middle. All right, we've got that check. Different numbers on the bottom as fractions. Okay, and we have that. And then equals one. That is a key that the equation of ellipse will equal one. Okay, so if you had to guess based on circles, what would you say is the center of this one? Again, based on our work that we did with circles, what do you think the center would be? Well, there's nothing with X, there's nothing with Y. It should make sense to you that the center of the circle is zero, zero. Okay. Now, the next thing you look for is the major and minor axis. So major axis, minor axis. Okay. The major axis is the one that has the biggest number on the bottom. So X has the biggest number underneath it. The major axis is going to be X. Now, how many units? Now, thinking about circles, did we do 25 or did we do square root of 25? For circles, you did the square root of 25, the same thing as here. The major axis, you're going to be going five units in each direction from the center. Again, I'm going to help you with this. Minor axis, that's Y because it has the smaller number underneath. Okay, how far would you go in the y direction? You're going to go three units, the square root of the bottom. Again, if the number's not nice, you'll have to get decimals. We'll deal with that when it's necessary. 
All right, but anyways, here we go. Now, here's all you have to do for graphing. Really pretty easy to do. Plot the center, 0, 0. Then what you're going to do is along the x-axis, because x is major, we're going to go 5 units out and 5 units back. So 5 units out, 5 units back. There we go. Now, as far as the minor axis goes, the y-axis will go up 3 and we'll go down 3. Okay, so up 3 and down 3. And then what you do is, is you just to the best of your ability, sketch in what looks to be an oval type shape. I actually usually make these a little bit better than I do the circles, although this one's okay. All right, but we got it. All right, now what I want to do is I want to find the foci. Okay, these two focal points that I was saying, that's going to be kind of an important thing that we need to be able to do. Okay, so let's find the foci. Now, how do you do that? You use the formula c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Now, a squared and b squared are these bottom numbers. The only way you can subtract and square root is if it's positive. You don't want any negative square roots. So it has to be for c squared, the biggest bottom, subtract the smallest bottom. So biggest bottom, subtract smallest bottom. That's how we're going to find c squared. Again, biggest number on the bottom, subtract smallest number on the bottom. Okay, so c squared is going to equal 25 minus 9, which is 16. Square root, square root, and c equals plus or minus 4. Okay, when you square root like that, it's plus or minus 4. Okay, now, that's for finding where the foci are going to be. Okay, so now this is very, very important that you get this note here, write this down. Okay, make sure you get this information right now. C is number of units from center on the major axis. Okay, to understand this, this is very important. Okay, C is number of units from the center on the major axis. So C is 4. We're going to go 4 units from the center on the major axis. So we'll go out 4 and we'll go back 4. Now make sure you keep listening. Don't stop listening now because we actually have to get those coordinates. And most of the time you're not going to graph them like this. Okay? What you're going to do is this. You're going to say it's the number of units from the center on the major axis. Now for this question, the major axis was X. So since x was the major axis, we're going to add and subtract our 4 to the x part of the center. Add and subtract it to the x part of the center because x was the major axis. So we're going to take 0 and add 4 to it. So the coordinates of the foci, when they ask for the coordinates, okay, so when they ask for the coordinates, you're going to add 4 to 0. So 0 plus 4, comma 0, which is actually 4, comma 0. And then you're going to subtract that off. Whoops, 0 minus 4. I'm getting kind of ahead of myself with that square root. We don't need it on this one, but we will. Okay, so again, you're going to subtract off the 4 from the x part as well. 0 minus 4, that's negative 4, comma 0. Okay, we need more practice at that. You don't have it yet, but you will as we go. All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at letter B. Let's see if we can get through this. And then uh, we'll work on the other ones in a second video. Okay, so next question. Center, 0, 0. Nothing with X, nothing with Y. Okay, major axis is going to be Y this time because Y has the bigger number underneath it. You'll be going 4 units, square root of 16. Your minor axis is going to be X because that has a smaller number, square root 4, and you'll be going 2. The graphing is really pretty simple. It's finding the coordinates of the foci that's the hardest part of this. So 0, 0 is your center. You're going to go 4 in the y direction, up 4, down 4. And in the minor axis x direction, go 2 units out, 2 units back. Sketch in your graph, and you got it. Okay, there's your picture. Happens pretty fast. Again, 0, 0, nothing with x, nothing with y. Major axis Y because it has the biggest number underneath. Minor axis X, smallest number underneath. We got those answers by square rooting. Now, coordinates of foci. Okay, to find the foci, we're going to do C squared 
equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared is going to equal the biggest bottom is a squared, 16. Subtract smallest bottom, 4. 16 minus 4 is 12. We're going to square root each side. And c is going to equal, now you want to leave this in simplified square root form. You do not want a decimal. This is where this gets a little tricky. Okay, so square root of 12, we know that breaks up into the square root of 4 and the square root of 3. So that's 2 square root of 3. Now, that's the number of units from the center on the major axis. The major axis is y. So we're going to add and subtract that to y. So here's the way you're going to write that. Your coordinates are going to be 0, 0 plus 2 square roots of 3. Well, 0 plus that is just still 2 square roots of 3. And then 0 for x and adding to the y. The y is 0. 0 minus 2 square roots of 3 is negative 2 square roots of 3. And there are the coordinates of your foci. Okay, I'm going to switch to another video, take a little break for a second, come back, and let's work again.